Welcome back, everyone. It's the podcast with Tyler Lane. A bit of fast cast type episode for you today. Iron Dog wrapping up the Iditarod just days away. But in the craziness that has been Alaska sports these past few weeks, and boy, has it been crazy, I was thinking back on a story from this month. You know, we covered the state hockey tournament. Both were great. The fans were great. That's not the issue. The issue is that I went to both games. I saw Diamond West beat Chugiak Eagle River, and then four hours later, watched West do the same against Diamond. But did you catch what I just said? Diamond West. That's not a typo. That's a real team, and one of seven like it over on the girls' side of high school hockey. Not only have these rosters had to merge, but hurdles off the ice in the form of financial struggles are constant. This according to Diamond senior Sasha Kleckner. Our program has been pretty successful despite we have to fund for ourselves. We have to sell raffle tickets. And so Diamond Girls Hockey isn't funded by our schools, even though we wear their logos. She's right. They've been very successful. Three-time state champs the last three seasons, in fact. And yet despite that success, the institutions they represent don't help them, apparently. Something Kleckner says is not the case with other programs. For example, the boys, they have alumni who give them money. They, they, so maybe they do sell raffle tickets, but they're still funded by um, their schools. We have to go out and do our own funding, and that's for all the girls' teams. All the girls' teams, and we have to pay for our eyes. We have to pay for these jerseys. These jerseys are like, this jersey is like older than me. This gear is like older than me that I'm wearing. With the mixing of rosters on top of it, you can also get outright depleted teams. Part of what made Diamond West the past few years so good is because of their sheer size. They beat Chugiak Eagle River in this year's state final 3-2. The actual girl power for both teams, an astonishing 29-15 in favor of DW. Now sometimes that can't be helped, and some sports I know, yes, just generate more money than others. But according to Anchorage Hockey Association Director Brian Gross, change starts with getting involved early. But we want to just keep getting the young girls playing hockey to grow up so when they come, come into high school that we got more high school players. The results of that are starting to show as well. We're seeing the rise of teams around the city, both Kleckner and Gross agreeing that this expansion should be the next step. It's great to see, especially to see it like expand out into the valley, which is really exciting because we always want girls hockey to grow, especially in such a small state. Um, it's great to have new competition, and especially with um, girls that you do play with normally every day. Playing against them is always fun. It's always good to have new competition. Um, it's just a great way to expand it. Always looking for more of the competition. We, we, we had seven teams this year. We really would like to have eight for a better bracket, but uh, it, you know it's great to expand across the state. We want to have full state participation, and it's great. We had some real good games. We had two overtime games today and a two-to-one game in the final, so three great games today. Um, just love to see girls' hockey continue to grow. An exciting season for them, and with what they just said, we might start seeing some new teams pop up come November. In the meantime, though, that's all the time we have for you today. This has been Tyler Lane with Anchor Town Sports. Stay close to us as well as Alaska Sports Source, where you can find me anytime at 10 o'clock starting on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. We'll have all the latest sports updates there.
but it's a great thing that it still like um, kept going, and Brian Gross has really like kept it um, going, and he's kept it alive for so long, so I'm really thankful for that. I'd like to see it like across the state. I'd like to see Fairbanks come down again. I'd like to see Kenai Peninsula maybe come up with more teams. Um, up north, come up with more teams. Just keep it growing. I don't ever want it to like disappear or die out. So yeah, I hope it just keeps on growing. Won the last two prior to that. South Bartlett was had won three in a row, and they had a big bench and a lot of numbers. And um, so right now we have good numbers, but it does it does seem to be cyclical. And we got, like I said, a big junior class. Um, we'll probably be smaller after next season. We'll drop down quite a bit in numbers. Um, 